What is up, rockers? Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms content here. I look a little bit yellow with this one. Okay. Wait. <laughs> I feel like I look so yellow on the camera right now. All right, never mind. <laughs> I'm Asian anyway. All right, so today in this video, what we're going to be doing is that we are going to... Um... <clears throat> God, God, God. Lost all... <laughs> I kind of lost track of what I was trying to say. We're going to look into the battle reports in here. Um, Black Frosty Widow from 1254 uh, shared us some reports. We've requested some testing um, with the Artemisia tree that we uh, suggested um, with Yi Sun Sin. And speaking of which, we are also going to be spinning for Yi Sun Sin. So in this video, it's kind of like a two in one, right? Pretty good. I know I don't want to bore you guys to death with the Will of Fortune. So... I am going to go through the um, battle report first, and then if you want to stick around, then you can see the Wheel of Fortune and see how lucky am I going to get. I know some people love, you know, just watching people spend gems. Um, I do want to say again, thanks to 1254 for contributing this uh, to the community, not just to me, but this is for the entire community. Now, I understand that some people may, you know, kind of like mock the suggestions and stuff and but this is the entire reason and this is why i love uh black frosty widow is because she is really nice in a sense of like uh she entertains all the ideas and which is how everybody should be doing right entertaining the ideas and testing them out and seeing if it's going to work or not so it's really good to see these reports and allow us to learn from uh, from the reports, right? Uh, if you're just going to shoot down an idea without actually testing it out, then you already lost half of the battle. All right, so um, we have some battle reports in here, and um, let's take a look into this one. This is a Artemisia tree that we requested for. If you guys remember the Artemisia tree that we have uh, previously made, uh, I don't think I have the picture here. Oh, right here. So this is the Artemisia tree that we suggested for her to test. Um, we've used this before with the Artemisia Constantine, right? Um, you've seen some of the videos with the full infantry one, and it works very well. Um, let's take a look in here. Artemisia Yisun Sin and Alexander Harald. Not too bad. 3.2, 3.4. Let's take a look at buff. All right, you can analyze that if you want. And let's take a look. Is it full T5? Full T5 on this side. Yes, full T5 on this side. So not too bad. Um, you still win, but uh, this is the point where like, you know, it has to be like dependent on the, uh, what is it called? Reinforcement. Now, would this be really, really good? Um, kind of like, it really depends at the end of the day on how much troops are also being put in into this one. So for me, I would really suggest is that if you're gonna be reinforcing this type like mixed troops with Yi Sun Sin, what you need to do is uh, input a lot more of the archer um, into the uh, uh, defense. Cause if you're just like, you know, if you're spamming a lot of like different types of troops, of course um, the infantry is gonna be able to take advantage of certain troops. Let's say you put in a lot more cabs and archers, then yeah, the report is gonna be in favor of um alexander and harold um all right so i don't think i'm gonna be able to like actually go through everything in here and calculate every single um troop type that was put in here but just to keep in mind if you are you know countering a rally you should try at the best part is to counter the rally with a specific troop type that they are weak now, I understand that at some point, um, you know, you will defend with Siege as what we have done in our KVK. Well, at that very moment, you know, Siege are weak against all the troop type, then you're expected to actually have a lot more deaths if you truly understand how it works. Now, let's take a look into the second report in here, 985 a million. It didn't do too good this time, but also keep in mind that it wasn't full in the beginning. So that takes effect as well. You can once again look at the troop buff. Oh, for some reason. Okay, there we go. You can analyze that again. And I believe this one actually had T4 in here as well. So 200k T4 as well. That contributes that as well. Now, if you're going against infantry, infantry, right? Just kind of just like mm, equals, right? Um, so in this type of scenario, you really need to put more archers. It seems like there's not a lot of archers in here as well. 
Not a whole lot. I see a lot more calves, I think. You guys can double check, but I don't see a whole lot of archers in here. So therefore, um, you know, with this report, of course, it's going to be in favor more into the uh, rallier because it's going to be an infantry. And if you see more calves in there, the infantry is going to destroy the calves. Um, that's one of the things that you need to understand when you're looking into the report, not just the numbers itself, because some people are very uh, number happy. So you need to understand what's actually inside each battle reports. Now let's take a look into the Wu Zetian Yi Sun Sin. Um, this is Harold and Yi, uh, Yi Song Ye. Now this is going to be, again, infantry, right? Full T5 in here, I think. Yes. You can take a look into the troop buff if you're interested. All right. Uh, you can pause on you know anytime on the video as well. And now this is Wu Jitian Yi Sun Sin. The, the report did pretty good almost, right? Uh, 100k. But the key thing that you need to understand, this is missing almost 70k. So that's also going to affect the severely wounded. So most people will not even look at that. And most people will just look at, oh, you know, severely wounded a lot, right? So you need to keep in mind that you need to actually look at the troop counts. Now, this is the initial hit. The initial hit takes, you know, some damage, right? So with that being weaker, takes a little bit more, right? And they're going to be inflicting a little bit less. So just understand that. Keep that in mind. Now, with this report, let's take a look. Um, there's 25k archers, 100k. Um, okay, 70 I think it has a decent amount of archers, but I don't think it's really full with archers either. Uh, a lot of mixed troops in here. So the difference between this one and the other one is, first thing, it's kind of hard to tell because losing that 70k is big, right? It could pretty much be an even thing if there was a 70k there. So it's kind of hard to determine for this one. Now, the power loss, this is 3.3. That's one of the reasons why is because it has, um, I believe, T4 in here that contributes on that as well. Now, not going to be like a million, but it still contributes some to the, you know, lower power loss. But the difference between this one and the Artemisia one, Wu Jitian does have the talent tree for the leadership. So that really helps out with the other type of units as well. Now, here's another Wu Jitian Yi Sun Sin. Now, this one is being rallied by Harold and Charles Martel. Uh, one thing that you need to look into as well is the time frame, because that will indicate to you how long the battle is. Now, this one... um. Okay, so this one, you can see the defender is, you know, not entirely full. The rallier is full, but the rallier took a lot more losses in this case. So the Herald, I'm assuming right now, the Herald and Charles Martel is not really the best combination that you can do. Here is the um, buff, and we need to double check if it's actually full infantry with T5. And this one, we have some, oh, some archers in here that are T4, calves T4. And we it got a lot more T4 in here. So with this one, um, I could safely say that this is actually, you know, just really a bad pair, uh, Harold and Charles Martel, because even with the T4 in here, right, he was able to inflict a lot more into uh, the battle report in here towards the um, uh, Harold and Charles Martel. I mentioned in here earlier there was some T4 in here, but really uh the big thing that really contributes in here is that that 70k loss of t5 that contributes a lot as well so sometimes the report can be confusing so just keep in mind that you have to look into the uh, power you have to look into the what's uh inside the rally or defense those are the few things that you need to look into you shouldn't just look into the numbers of how many severely wounded out there because that can be the very deceiving now the Reports also, um, they were equipped with equipment, so they're trying to simulate everything in here to be near as perfect in a situation of war, which is completely fine. I agree with that. With the equipments in here, I think it should be every testing that you should do should be tested with gear. So this is a, you know, archer gear. And I like the, uh, wait, was that a, okay, it wasn't expertise, but I like that there's a Skola's coin there. This is the Wu Tian gear. It's with revival set as well, so that's um, that's the issue as well, right? So we've seen the report, right? It's being you know having a revival set with the Wu Chitian, and the Wu Chitian is not really getting reinforced a lot with archers. So um, maybe in that situation, what you need to do is if you are you know leading with the Wu Chitian, maybe your primary reinforcement should be archers, or primary um, troop in that reinforcement is archers. 
and then you have your secondary third you know and fourth you know priorities now this is the alexander um pretty good setup in here um it's okay they're using their this is the revival helm right so uh i think with alexander what you can even do is like well let me see that was the revival helm if i'm correct yeah so this is a really good equipment if they're able to craft it this is infantry attack plus eight percent actually very good now i don't know maybe they like the defense better but i think if you're going to go on offense right just inflict as much i like the move of eight percent attack honestly um but it all depends on the player right depends on what they prefer we don't try to push things to people and another thing is that really depends on what they have also so right now i couldn't really tell you what they actually have or own so maybe they just don't have that um item so i've also realized that with the revival set that they had with Wujitan, probably this is the best gear that they have. And um, one of the good thing about revival set is an epic set with you know revival set buff, right? So increased you know attack three percent. That's all types of troops and increased defense. You know all types of troops as well. So I gotta say, revival set seems like the best gear for like if you're defending with like Wujitan, like mixed troops in here. So you know you can be a little bit more heavy into archers if you like. If you're getting rallied with the um, you know infantry. Um, you can go heavy on um, infantry if you're getting rallied by um, cabs. All the types of units that are in there, even your siege will get that benefit as well. So if you're in a point where like you're just dumping whatever troops in there, this is probably a very good set of equipments to use. So keep that in mind. It all depends on the situation that you are in. Um, yeah. With that being said, you know I really appreciate you know um, the battle reports in here. So in the future we will have more testing about the archer gangs. Instead, um, we will see how they are going to be doing a rally. So instead of this one, we're seeing the testing of defense. We're gonna see the testing of offense next video once they have shared this to us so if you guys have the time you know send her a message say thank you for doing this you know thank the kingdom for doing this their alliance it's amazing now i know you guys all been waiting for is for us to spin for yi sun sin now why am i going to spin for yi sun sin it's because i want to have a good arsenals of defenders and um it also allows me to be more what is it called um versatile when it comes to like Ark of Osiris as well. So we're gonna play Yisun Sin. Now I was kind of against Yisun Sin in the beginning, but I feel like since a lot of like mixed troops really being used um and you know sieges, I think we need to have a good defender that can handle the sieges. And um I think once Theodora is out, we will also capture Theodora and we have this one waiting that's like 52k each so we're just waiting to capture that and get the adora into our arsenal as well so anyway let's go ahead and spin in here all right are we gonna get something really good or wait i didn't see that one i was like looking at something else <laughs> did i just get ahead i don't think i got eight though i haven't had eights yet Ugh, that's tr trashy that's trashy now I am not going to spin up to like a hundred in here. Oh wait, sorry. I'm actually going to spin up to a hundred, but I'm not gonna go past a hundred. All right. Yeah. Wow. This is pretty shitty. Oh my goodness. Wow. I hate my luck right now. I think I should be able to reach a hundred, right? I didn't do. Uh, maybe I I don't know because I didn't do much on the first day of spin. I kind of neglected it. I need to see. I think I should be with the six. I think we got sixty chance, right? I think we should be able to. I believe you just need to do two days and you can get it already. But hell, what the fudge, man! I'm not getting at all. This is pretty dumb. This is very unlucky. This is why I don't spin sometime. We got 53k. 50k gems left now. Jesus Christ. I'm not getting any. I need more. There we go. Give me more. Damn, man. I need the eights. Okay, we got three. Not bad. All right. Ah! Come on, man. Uh, sometimes, like, I don't even know how to react anymore. 
It's not giving us uh, what we wanted, what we need. We need more. Oh, come on. It's tearing me up, guys. It's tearing me up. All right. We got to pray real quick. We got to pray, man. We got to pray for the love of ROK. God, please give us eight. Please. Just, you know, five times eight would be very generous already. It's not too much. I will take it. Come on. Please prove us. Prove us wrong. Uh, that, you know, this game is uh, going to give us. Come on, man. Ah, uh, no. Come on, man. This is rigged. This is so rigged. This is rigged. Come on. Come on. Come on. Man, I'm getting this bad juju right now, man. Bad juju. Man. <sighs> Come on. You gotta, you gotta get me into that ROK Ganja. ROK Ganja. Come on. ROK Ganja. ROK Ganja. Ooh, so close. Come on. Give me that eights, baby. Eights, 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 eights. Lucky eight. I'm gonna break this computer, man. Oh my god. Mm. Why am I spinning again? Why am I wasting my gems spinning this? I don't know. Oh, yes! Oh! oh my god. So close. I feel like it I feel like it tempts me and then just takes it away. Why? All right, we got 63. We'll spin again for tomorrow. My God. <sighs> anyway, thanks, Rockers, for watching. Hopefully, you guys learned something with the battle reports, and um, I'll see you guys again next time.